Tennis is a game where the ball changes ends of the court every second and a half for the average player and at a second for pro players. It's almost amazing that pros can keep up with the pace of, of play. I'm going to show you how they get in and out of these corners so quickly. It's called the built-in recovery. Elizabeth here is going to show us how we work on developing that skill. Elizabeth, step up to the line here. Put your head over the line. Now, with the, her head over the line, you can see her shoulders are leaning towards the outside of the court, towards the alley. That re represents where her momentum is set right now. Now, without adding any extra distance off the court, watch how easily she can shift doing the slalom recovery to the other side of the line. Now she's in a position where her upper body momentum is ready to lead her back towards the center of the court. This drill here, go ahead, back and forth, will help you start getting used to this. And again, her head's very still, staying right over the line the whole time. Now another way we got Elizabeth to this level was using two pound weighted balls. And we've got a little routine to show you now that will help you develop this with more footwork involved. These two pound weight balls simulate the weight of a stroke. And it's important that we use these because part of this momentum shift needs to happen as a result of the stroke and the weight of that stroke. So I'm gonna throw these to her every time she gets back to recovery. We're practicing throwing these balls cross court because that's the percentage shot when she's in that situation. She's going to be recovering back to the appropriate recovery position for a cross court shot. It's a neat little rhythmic drill you can really get into. Take a look. Now feed her the next one. Notice that legs are kicking out nicely and she's really quick out of this corner. No opponent's gonna be able to get her to hang out there using this technique. Notice she's using very good lateral movement on the way out there, and that helps her get in and out of these corners and keep her balance, but really be able to do it quickly. So that's the built-in recovery called the slalom recovery. That's a great answer for getting in and out of the forehand corner quickly, and it also works in the backhand corner. Speaking of the backhand corner, I want to show you another technique we're really targeting here at the Academy and show you exactly how to get out of trouble with this problem. 